In my statistical parametric mapping in six minutes demo video, I used a t-test as an example. I thought that after a few brief follow-up videos, that series was finished, but I've had a few comments and emails asking about alternative tests, the most common of which was an ANOVA. So the aim of this video is to show how you can figure out what to do with any of the other SPM tests available at the website, spm1d.org, and I will use an ANOVA as an example this time. In the previous video, which I'll link to in the top corner of the screen and in the description below, I showed how to download the MATLAB files from spm1d.org and copy them to somewhere that's quick and easy to use. Within those downloaded files, there's also an examples folder, which, as the name suggests, contains an example for each of the possible SPM statistical tests. For example, in stats 1D, we have example scripts for a paired t-test, a regression, a manover, etc. But for now, I'm going to use the one-way ANOVA. Any of these that we want to explore and use with our own data, we can copy out and put into the main folder where we copied everything else, from where we can open it, click run, and then immediately we have an example set of SPM results and an example figure. Where this becomes really useful, though, is that we can actually explore the data that was used to run this test, and it shows us what format our own data needs to be in in order to run this particular SPM test, whether it is the one-way ANOVA, the t-test, the MANOVA, or whatever example we've selected. In this case, we can see that in the middle of the script, conduct SPM analysis is done on two variables, Y and A. So the only thing we need to change in order to run this script on our own data is we need our own version of Y and A. What do they look like? We can explore them over on the right of the screen. Opening up Y, we can see that we have a time series for each of 35 trials. Each trial is a row and they're all one under another. So every row or every trial of data in the entire study is in this one variable. However, at this point, the script does not know which condition each of these correspond to. And that's where the other variable comes in, which was A. And that's a single column ranging from zero to three. So four different numbers for each of four different conditions. And we can see here we have 15 trials in the first condition. Then from row 16 to 20, it's the second condition. Row 21 through to 32 are the third condition. And the final condition is the final three rows. And that corresponds to the trials in the other variable. And so if you want to run a one-way ANOVA, you can set up your own data in the same way. You can do it in Excel or somewhere else if you're not comfortable in MATLAB. The previous video showed how to do that and how to copy the data in from Excel. You can then simply use those, save them as Y and A or some other name. If you choose another name, you can change these two names here to correspond. Click Run and then the results of your own test will appear here. And you can follow that same structure to break down any of the other SPM tests, change your data structure to match that in the example, and then use the example code to get your results quick and easy. When you do get the figures, if you want to manually edit those figures without having to use code, then again, there's a video to show you how to do that, which I'll link to down in the description and in the corner of the screen. Hopefully you found that useful. If you did, please like the video. If you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell, you'll receive notifications of any future tutorials. Let me know if there's anything else that you want to see. Thank you very much.